Hi there, Dr. Gary here on the road. We sell dental practices nationwide. Today we have some breaking news for you. The topic of today will be Florida trip wrap up and why some wealthy dentists refuse to sell their fantastic practice. We'll get into that. As you know, we've been doing this now for 13 years, selling dental practices nationwide. We have 10 employees. We're in over 20 states. So we're excited. We're going to be doing this for a long time. I have no plans on retiring. Um, also, by the way, we're going to be uh, leaving for our trip, our first cruise ship to uh, Australia. Uh, very excited about that. that. That's going to be a tremendous trip. Uh, it'll be a cruise seminar. We're going up the coast of Australia. There's still some room, but we're leaving on the 9th. So you have to do it before the 9th of January or a couple days before. We have a nice uh, gathering of seminar uh, attendees that are coming. Um, so our phone number is 201-663-0935. Our email is... Uh, or our website is dentalpracticeguide.com or nationwidedentalpracticebrokers.com. Everything you're about to hear today is for entertainment purposes. It's not legal or business advice. Now, if you're thinking about selling to a, uh, a DSO, corporate dentistry, call us first. They often will pay our commission, so there's no commission to you as a buyer, seller. And we know who the best ones are to work with because we're dealing with them all the time. We see the changes. We're on the ground floor. We had one of the biggest ones is no longer buying in New York City. We hear these changes. Also, when some of them are in trouble or, or we can see the employees looking for jobs at the other DSOs and the rumors spread rapidly. So we get an inside track on that. Uh, and we're happy to share that information uh, with you. But they'll pay our commission often. And if you work with us, as I mentioned, you will get um, uh, your legal fees. If it's a DSO sale, you'll get your legal fees reimbursed upon successful closing uh, based on certain criteria. We've done that multiple times. So please call us. More than happy to help you at any time. So anyway, we just got back from Florida. Great trip. We're going to be opening up the state of Florida soon. Uh, we did a lot of traveling around the state. We like certain areas uh, that we think would be great for dentists. Uh, we spent more of our time on the east coast of Florida, Boca Raton, uh, Deerfield, um, Delray Beach. Love that place, too. Um, had breakfast or went through the breakers over in West Palm Beach. That was really nice. So we saw multiple different areas. So we know when something is for sale, of course, we'll go visit the doctor, but we know the different regions so we could speak about them. Uh, it was a great, great trip. So keep an eye on that. We'll be opening up Florida sometime in 24, hopefully. Now, the next uh, topic, we had, you know, I met this dentist. Very, he's wealthy, uh, 16 plus million dollars. Made it from the dental, dentistry itself, and of course, investments. Uh, been a world traveler, been all over the world, even did some hiking, I think, in the, uh, uh, on the base camp of Everest. So pretty motivated guy, but just the base camp, of course. Uh, but even that could be dangerous. Um, uh, but hiked around the world, world traveler, uh, worth over $16 million, investments in a great dental office. Uh, the guy did fantastic. But I'm saying, well, why don't you just sell? And you're older now, you know, he's over the age of 65. And you know why? One reason. One reason, he says, I can't sell. Because I have fear, and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. He says, I've traveled all over the world many, many times. I have other hobbies and such. But he says, I enjoy coming to work. Now, one of our strategies I was thinking about is that how do we get somebody like this to sell? You know, how do we do it? Now, one of the ways I tell them is, hey, the problems your family's going to have, if something happens to you, they got to deal with this. You know, you just can't close the door of a dental office and walk away. You're responsible for those records for seven years. Everybody will be calling you. And do you really want to just give it away? Because, you know, if it's a, it's a record sale, you're not going to get that much for it. 25 cents on the dollar, maybe. Um, you're just not going to get it. 
And one of the strategies I've been thinking is if it, the practice is large enough and the buyer really wants to practice, give that seller an employment agreement. Keep them on one year, two year, three years, because you're going to grow the practice. And if it's a relatively large practice, over 800,000, usually there's enough room for two doctors. Most likely the doctor's sending out endo, uh, extractions, implant surgery, et cetera. So there's room for the new fellow, the new buyer right away. And then the new, and new buyer will, will probably be doing a lot more marketing and advertising. So that new buyer could probably focus on the new patients coming in, um, all the referrals the doctor was sending out. The new buyer can do all those and be pretty busy. And, and your accountants will have to go over the cash flow and your bank will have to go over the cash flow. But there still be, should be enough room uh, for the two of you. So if you give him the incentive to stay on and then you will give him an employment contract, that could work out pretty well. That may be one of the ways. You know, we try to do what we can by telling him you don't want to straddle your family if you get disabled. But by you providing them, because this one doctor says, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I am not retiring. Here's a wealthy guy, practice does close to a million, but he's afraid. And so I think that's a technique that you could use. And you've got to be a bit humble. He obviously, or she, obviously knows what they're doing and getting a practice close to a million dollars and they're not pushing it and they're not marketing and advertising and they're not doing much DMO, VPO stuff. He must know or she must know what they're doing. You could learn something from them. And I think that's one thing, something you should think about. All right, keep the doctor on with an employment agreement, you know, 33, 35% of what they produce and collect. Probably, and you start marketing, advertising, and doing all the referrals, you're going to do great. Just a thought for the day. Well, signing off now. Remember, if you like these videos, subscribe and you'll get alerted to every time. We're over 405, I think, videos now on buying and selling on YouTube's buying and selling dental offices. So uh, call us if you have any questions. We're happy to chat. There's no charge. And sellers, when you sign up with us, there's no initial fees. There's no upfront fees usually. All right. Thank you. Bye now.